Hello, in today's tutorial we will look at uh, electrochemistry. We will consider galvanic cells. A galvanic cell is a device in which uh, chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. Example, consider a galvanic cell based on the reaction copper plus silver ion forms copper 2 plus silver. Give the balanced cell reaction and calculate standard cell potential. Solution. We must first write the half reactions as reduction reactions. The half reactions are silver ion forms silver, balance the charge, we have one electron there, standard cell potential for this reaction is 0 0.80 volts, this is our reaction one, copper two forms copper, balance the charge, two electrons, potential for this reaction is 0.34 volts. This is our reaction two. Reaction two must be reversed. To run as an oxidation reaction because it has the lowest positive potential. This gives Copper, copper 2 plus 2 electrons. The potential is also reversed. We have negative 0 0.34 volts. Then now we need to balance the cell reaction. We have silver ion plus electron from silver then copper forms copper 2 plus 2 electrons the number of electrons lost and gained must be equal on both sides in this case we we'll multiply reaction 1 through by so, we have two plus two electrons, then forms two silver. Then reaction two remains the same. In this case, the potential is not affected by the integers. The potential will still remain the same. This one, this is a reduction which occurs at the cathode. Oxidation occurs at the anode. This is negative 0.34 volts. We now need to write the cell reaction. Cell reaction can cancel the two electrons appearing on both sides. We have two silver ion aquas plus copper solid forms two silver solid plus two copper ion. This is the cell reaction. Now we need to calculate the standard cell potential. Standard cell potential is equal to a cathode 
minus a anode. In this case, our E cathode is 0 0.80 volts minus 0 0.34 volts. Subtract, then we we'll get 0 0.4 six volts. The minus sign in this case means or subtraction means change the sign and add. In this case we changed the sign of the oxidation reaction and add it to the reduction reaction which occurs at the cathode. This is how we can calculate the cell potential. In the next tutorial, we'll look at cell potential and free energy. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.